So over here, you can see that I already have uh, particles applied onto these little circles right here. So they are falling off from the top. So what I want to do is I want to add in keyframe to these sta static objects right here so that it seems much more dynamic. So in order to do that, it is quite simple. You simply go ahead and then add in transformation properties onto those static objects. To do that, I'm going to open up the uh, puppet area right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shape just like this. This is the static shape with the collide on. And what I want to do is I want to add in a transform behavior onto this so I can keyframe this individually. Similarly, I'm going to do the same for this. I'm going to go to behavior and then I'm going to click on transform. Then I'm going to go on to the record area right here. And now what I can do is you can see the trans uh, transform. So what I want them to do is rotate out a bit. So I just want to go around and rotate these around as you can see. So I can control these things individually. So I'm going to go around right here and then I'm going to add in a keyframe right here and then at the end that is round on one minute I just want it to rotate so I'm just going to click and drag it so now what happens is that if I were to play it you can see that it rotates around just like that it rotates as time flies by so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it out even further so uh, I'm going to zoom out so there's the total length of time as you can see right there so let's say I want uh, my end timing to be here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select out this shape right here and then I'm going to rotate this out. So I'm just going to rotate it out, let's say, for example, to 20,000 degrees. So it is rotating just like this, as you can see. So if I were to press play, you can see that it keeps on rotating just like this. I want to do the same for this one, but in opposite direction. So I'm just going to go to transform right here uh, and I'm going to go to rotation and I'm going to go at the end right here. And for this one, I'm going to drag it on the opposite direction. So minus 40,000 because I want this to be faster. So now let's see how this actually works like. So let me just pull this out right here so that you can see it. And now I'm just going to zoom in the timeline as well. And if I were to press play, let's see what happens now. You can see that as uh, the time goes by, you can see that the static objects, they actually uh, are animating at the same time and they are interacting with the objects making the animation much more interactive as you can see right there let me just do one more thing i'm just going to go around and then drag this at the bottom so i'm just going to go around drag the position not x but y on the bottom just like this and i'm going to do uh let's say for example the same with this one as well so i'm just going to bring this down not increase this in size but bring this down on position y just like this now let's see what happens let's hit the play button you can see that even uh, if they are in the ground you can see that the uh, object is interacting with the circles right there and you can see that the uh, animation is much more dynamic and interesting to look at um, um, like this so that is how you can keyframe static objects for dynamic object interaction inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.